Joining me now, Richard Sakharides, Democratic strategist and former special assistant to President Clinton, and Tony Sayeg, who's a former press aide to GOP vice presidential nominee Jack Kemp, president of Talk Radio News Service and a Fox News contributor. Let me start with you on this, Richard, as a Democrat. Your, thought, uh, your thoughts on that culture of intimidation. Well, I think I don't think there's a culture of intimidation. I think there's some very unfortunate uh, events that have come together. Uh, but I think uh, on the Benghazi issue, you know, there are serious issues of national security and why there wasn't sufficient security at the embassy. But this uh, nonsense about these talking points, I mean, the, the, you know, there was some bureaucratic infighting around the talking points that's common in Washington and both parties. And on the IRS and on the AP press records, I mean, the president is, the president, or neither the president nor his political advisors are anywhere near any one of those two issues. So I think any attempt to kind of draw these together um, is misguided and will the, Republic, the American people will not buy it. If, if that is true, the last point Richard just made, then why didn't the president come out and say, I did not have any knowledge of this at all prior to, you know, this week or a couple weeks ago in my White House counsel? I mean, he, you heard what he said, I played sure. it three times. Well, at some point, the president has to assume responsibility for his administration, Megan. These aren't just some you know, bu bureaucratic agencies somewhere out in the hinterland of, of the bureaucracy. These are executive level administrations and agencies and departments, the DOJ, who are under the president's leadership. And if he really is that disconnected from the function of government in his executive branch, that's a big problem, number one. Number two, you're not just talking about intimidation as we've often criticized the president with Chicago-style politics. You're talking about the kind of intimidation where the government, in this case the IRS, targets the president's political enemies, where the Department of Justice goes after reporters' phone records, violating their right to privacy and, of course, the freedom of the press. So you're not just talking about tactics or things we accept as intimidation in Washington. You're talking about a government that has expansive, under this president, executive control and power. This is the problem, Megan. This is the president who, from very early on, believes the executive branch has no real limits, and this shows it. So whether or not he was in charge or of it or knew of it, it's the culture he has created. The IRS thing is particularly disturbing. I mean, there's, there's a guy named Frank Vandersloot who was called out. He's a major Romney donor in, in one of his finance chairs. He was subjected to three federal audits after being attacked by President Obama's campaign. He's been on Fox News this week talking about it and was before as well. Uh, he was called out specifically by them. He says this is, a, this is all part of a long-going campaign against conservatives. Well, if, there's, if there ends up being any evidence that the IRS uh, targeted conservatives for political reasons, um, it Other would, than what we already know, uh, it would. There well, is evidence. I mean, I, I, I don't think that we know that it was pol for political reasons. I think we know that there was political targeting, but it's not we'll necessarily for political reasons. We'll pick it up reasons. right there after this break. <laughs> Sakharides and Tony, Tony Sayeg back with me now. So you were saying that the IRS did these bad things uh, against conservative groups, but we don't know whether they did it for political reasons, and you wanted to respond the, to that. The criteria, Megan, let's look at it, in all fairness to my colleague Rich here, were people whose names were patriot, had something to do with complaining about the size of government, government debt, Tea Party specifically. Or the way the country is or run. Or the way the country is run. So clearly this is a politically well, driven agenda. Now, you could correctly say it may not have been ordered by the president, which I think in and of itself is weak, because clearly he's created again a culture in which going after your political opponents, a la Richard Nixon, via the executive branch, is completely acceptable if it makes your agenda can, move can forward. You, even liberals like myself sometimes have problems with the way the country is run. I mean, I don't know if that would but mean none that I would targeted be targeted by the IRS. Targeted. I, mean, I, 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 targeted, I think, I think we will find that there were some progressive groups that were targeted too along so the way. So far there's no so evidence we, of that. We, well, we don't know. I mean, so far Well, the IG early, has completed so his report and there's no evidence So far we're on in this, but I think what we know from the president's uh, inartful answer, which I think will be cleared up before the end of the day today, is that he you didn't agree, know anything he, about you it. You agree he should, have, he should have answered more broadly the question asked. Did anyone in the White House know about the IRS behavior? Forget the IG well, report. I, he cannot say, did any, he cannot really now answer the question, did anybody know? Because he hasn't talked to everybody and there are thousands of people who work there. So he can speak for himself and I thought with respect to himself what he meant to say, what I'm guessing he meant to say was, I didn't know anything about it. Now, that what he answered that question inartfully, and I will bet you it is cleared up before Imagine the Imagine if today. Move On.org or Code Pink or any of these other progressive groups, Megan, were investigated or targeted by the IRS during the Bush administration, and President Bush went up there and said, really nothing to see here, or I had no idea what was going on. It clearly is something well, that the President okay, I gotta, has to, I has to ultimately we'll just, be responsible we'll leave, we'll leave for. We'll leave it that. We'll think about Code Pink. Thank you both. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, the release of more than 100 pages of administration emails on Benghazi. They say...